So, about 1984. Right? Yeah, about 84. I played a, a bluegrass festival. I met Randy, and we just become friends. We've been friends ever since. We peaked together, and uh, he writes, he's a good songwriter. He writes songs, and of course, we run into each other on the road all the time because we play on the same circuit. So his, his band and, and I wound, wind up performing together a lot. You play in the circuit? No, oh, on the circuit. <laughs> circuit. <laughs> circuit, you yeah, we, you could call it that, that's for sure. But, uh, but we have a lot of fun playing. How do you like playing the school? Oh, yes. to me that's the best in the world because that's how I got into the music originally was by a, a violinist coming into my elementary school room and playing Orange Blossom Special. So I feel if I can go in like he did, he set the spark off in me, which brought me into music. So hopefully some of the kids that were here today will, will in turn, pick it up and carry it on. Well, that's competition for you, though, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, I look at it more as a, a big happy family. So the more we have, the better we are. With the violin and the bass, both were made originally back about the 1400s in Italy. Anybody know where Italy is? It's down there near Montgomery, isn't it? It's not? Oh, okay. Well, these, were, these instruments were made in Italy. And they were brought across through France, across the English Channel into England, Scotland, and Ireland. And then the folks, when they got ready, they came over to America. When they came, they brought these instruments with them and they brought the style of music that they played and the songs and the tunes. I'm going to do you a little Irish fiddle tune now. We know it's classical. Anybody know what classical music is? You ever heard the orchestra? The old <laughs> So you can even play Mozart on the fiddle. You can play Mozart on it. It's called Bile and Cabbage Dance. Thank you. 